Anglesey Island, a popular spot for a swim, a dog walk, and maybe the UK's next nuclear power station. Its last one, Wilver, has been retired, but ministers want a new one. What do people here think? It needs to happen, and I think it will bring a lot of good to the area and, of course, help with everybody's bills. Hopefully, in the long term, it's not going to happen instantly. I'm not happy at all because I've been asking one question all along for 50 years. I've been asking what's going to happen to the nuclear waste. It's a tricky one. The pros are it bring work to the island and also, you know, it will eventually bring more energy. They need to think of the cost. They need to think of the time scale. Companies have previously pulled out of building new nuclear power stations here, concerned about the cost and risk. Let's get it done. Let's make it happen. The government thinks a new model will help that by putting levies on people's energy bills to help fund their construction. It might have a, a small effect, but we're talking about, if you look at the hydrogen level, we're talking maybe £30 on, 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 on a bill over a year. So you'd be expecting is, similar for nuclear, about £30? Well, let's see what, what let's see what schemes come up. And there's no doubt in the medium term that will reduce, that will give us cheaper power. Now, I can't tell you, you know, at what precise date your, the bills are going to be lower because there are all sorts of other factors determining the price. And your confidence the political gamble of that is worth it in terms of potential further cost to consumers? Absolutely. I mean, I'm in, I, we're in Wilver. You know, people here really want to see new investment, jobs, opportunity for their kids and their community. As well as large nuclear stations, the government's supporting small modular reactors, which it's claimed are quicker and simpler to build. Rolls-Royce want to build one here and argue short-term bill rises would protect consumers long-term. At the end of the day, these projects to deliver that net zero, clean energy, reliable base load have to be paid for. And in the long run, this will protect consumers from that volatility we can see today with that gas price volatility affecting the wholesale power market. The government wants our energy in future to be secure, cheaper and greener. Renewables are part of its strategy, offering cheaper energy bills for people who live near new onshore wind farms. But that's just one part of the plan. Ministers want to place their big bet on nuclear power, arguing it's necessary for when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. But the challenge is these plans are long term and they're expensive at a time when people's short term budgets are at the front of everyone's minds. The government say nuclear is part of the solution to energy prices, not the problem. But it admits this won't be an instant fix. Ioni Wells, BBC News, Anglesey.